day! Thank you so much for coming back into General Grammar. My name is Mr. Goody Grammar, and I'm here to educate you on everything English grammar. I hope your spidey senses are, uh, tingling, because we just got in a new shipment! What could it be? Mm. Find out in a second. But before we begin, make sure to download the free guided notes in the description box below. The notes and the episode have matching badges that help you follow along with each section. Also, underline any maroon text that appears in the episode to identify key concepts and key terms. It's the shopping list your mom always forgot to take to the grocery store. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and jumpstart our brains and do a little How would you describe the current state of your bedroom? Well, I would describe mine as organized, clean, age-appropriate, and relaxing. What about you? What did you write? Go ahead and write the descriptions of your room in the comments below. Just don't be mad if people judge you on your Sharknado-infested living quarters. Okay, I promised you I would tell you what's in this box. Let me just tell you, it's intriguing, mysterious, captivating. Oh, I'm talking about adjectives! Oh my gosh! Three, two, one. Adjectives are part of speech that are used to describe nouns and pronouns. Adjectives can go ahead and specify the quality, the size, and even the number of nouns or pronouns. Think about the words that you use to describe your room during our basket breaker. I use words like tidy and organized to describe my room. My room being a place, which is a noun. So organized and tidy are adjectives because they describe my room, the noun. Why are adjectives important? Well, adjectives are important because they give more specificity and detail about nouns or pronouns. Basically, adjectives are used to paint a picture in the reader's mind. Like the iconic Bob Ross, the little fluffy clouds and happy trees. Let's go ahead and look at a list of examples here. I'm gonna show you some adjectives with their nouns paired together. We have brave soldier, bright lights, famous YouTube influencer, unhinged mother, smelly socks, deranged witch. So the adjectives in these phrases, brave, bright, famous, Unhinged, smelly, deranged. All describe not only my ex, but also the nouns that they're paired with. Example. Wow! That donut is huge! Whoa! So, if we notice here, we have to look, okay, what's describing the noun in this sentence? The noun being donut. Well, Guess what we know about the donut? It's huge! Huge! Therefore, huge is your adjective. Example, I have two hamsters. If we notice here, the noun hamsters. Well, how many hamsters? Two hamsters. Therefore, two is actually the adjective because it specifies the number of hamsters. Still a little confused and need some more practice? Not to worry. I got your back. Let's go ahead and do some practice examples together. We need some employee assistance. For this section, I'm gonna read off various sentences. 
What we're going to do together is we're going to underline the different adjectives that we find in these sentences. You ready? I am. Example. I have the worst service. How would you describe the, the service? Well, it's the worst. Therefore, worst is your adjective. Example. I can hear the constant singing of deranged, invisible birds chirping in my brain. If you notice here, the birds are our noun, and guess what? They're deranged and invisible. Ooh, got a lot of description going on today. So I thought it would be great for us to stop for a second and do an aisle check before you head out the door. Let's go. So when I say go, you will write as many adjectives as you can in 30 seconds. They can be any adjectives of your choice. You can pick one topic to describe or as many as you want. When the timer on the screen is up, put your pencil down. Are you ready? 30 seconds on the clock. Write as many adjectives as you can and go. I'm feeling relaxed, refreshed, and ready. How did it go for you? Hmm, okay. Well, if it went really well, what I would like you to do is go ahead and count up how many adjectives you collected in those 30 seconds. Then, go ahead and take that number and three of your favorite adjectives from your list, put them in the comments below. We love to read them. Make us laugh. And if you struggled with this concept today, not to worry. Guess what? Learning new concepts takes time and practice. So keep with it. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them into the comment section below. We'll be happy to respond and help you out. Well, that's it for today, Grammar Goodies. As always, I'm Mr. Goody Grammar, and we'll see you next time where we're gonna go into some extremely cool adverbs. Have a swell one.